Hi everyone and welcome back on Adobe Live. Uh, we're still live from Paris and now we will be two hours with Marie-Laure. Hi Marie-Laure. Hi. <laughs> Marie-Laure known as Crucy Form on uh, Behance and uh, also it's your website. Uh, uh, yeah, crucyform.com. Mm. Yeah. So that's your artist name. And um, so yeah, be, make sure to uh, stay with us. We will be... Uh, Streaming for two hours, there will be more giveaways. We will give away a signed print, a signed illustration by Mari Lar, and also a Creative Cloud subscription to someone in the chat. Um, so that's great. Uh, so who is there in the chat? Let us know where you are from. So it, it will give us a good uh, overview, you know, of the countries of our friends. <laughs> and uh, are you connected to internet, Mari Lar? No. No. Okay. So. <laughs> You know what, what we can do is maybe start with your uh, Behance account for our friends who uh, don't uh, know your work, so you can tell us what you do in life. And by the way, so behind us is one of your illustrations. Oh. See, the cabin. <laughs> uh, so. so let's go live. So this is your portfolio. Yes. So. Um... I'm uh, so I'm an illustrator, mm -hmm. and uh, I work uh, from ten years now. Uh, I've been graduated from a hard school in Paris. Uh, I was born in the south of France and uh, in went oh. to, to Paris. <laughs> yes, I have an accent. You still have a <laughs> small accent. Yeah. So we both have a French accent when we speak English, but. Uh, Oh. When she speaks French, she has a <laughs> cute accent from the south of France. So which side? Uh, Nîmes. Ah, from Nîmes. Okay, mm -mm. I've been there once, mm. long time ago. <laughs> and uh, now I, I live in Paris from ten years. Ten years, okay. And um, and I work in my studio. Cool. So you see, we have friends from Indonesia still. Wow. It's very late there. <laughs> very late, but they're still awake. From Colombia, from Afghanistan, from wow, wow, USA, wow. Israel. Hey, Vince Hart, thanks for uh, staying with us. He was already with us, uh, with uh, our first guest, uh, with Kate. Okay. He was there, so yeah. Okay. Don't sleep, okay, for three days, <laughs> my friends. Just stay with us on the stream. And this is your portfolio. Yes. So you, yeah, I invite you also to follow um, Marilor Crucy Form on Behance, of course. And uh, yeah, check her work. I mean, it's, uh, it's amazing. And uh, we had an event uh, last week together. Mm. We shared the stage. It was great. So wh where should I start? Uh, I don't know. This one, the Dreamer of Fukushima, yeah. for instance. So I work for um, for a French magazine. And, it was um, two years ago. Yeah. yeah it's a <laughs> very uh, long time. And um, I use uh, Illustrator uh, most of the time. Yeah. And sometimes uh, a little bit uh, Photoshop. Yeah, for, for the, the textures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you, but usually you always start in uh, in Illustrator. Yeah, exactly. And uh, this one was for Wired magazine. Mm -hmm. Also, and again, it was yeah two years ago. Yeah. Looks great. And uh, yeah. which one do you want to see? Uh, oh, maybe this one. Kevin's. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's book, it's a crazy project, guys. Uh, so she made all the illustrations for this book about cabins, uh, but beautiful ones. <laughs> and it's by Tashin. I guess you all know this uh, mm -hmm. editor. And uh, how many illustrations did you have to make? 60. 60 illustrations mm -hmm. in a house. Yes, uh, how many sorry. times? You, you uh, had uh, five months. Five months only mm -hmm. to create 60 illustrations. So you need to be very, very good. I can tell you, very efficient mm. to achieve uh, this level of uh, details, and also be very creative because you you have mm -hmm. to find a, a a new creative direction for each picture, a new mood board, a new color theme. I mean, wow, that's something. It's beautiful. And then, oh yeah, and, and you you were sharing that uh, also. This one, I like this one. This one is crazy. And you told me that this is not 3D. No. no. <laughs> All done in Illustrator. Only, only Illustrator. No 3D. Mm -mm. And uh, oh, Simon is asking in chat, what is everyone current time? So in Paris, it's 8 p.m. Mm -mm. Yeah, 8 p.m. in Paris. What? So we have people here, 9 p.m. I'm sure there is someone who is at least like two. Oh, here, Fabi, 2 a.m. 
3 a.m. in Malaysia. Wow, <laughs> for the brave. I guess it will be easier in the U.S. Yeah, they will be in the mm. U.S. now. Yeah, it's lunchtime <laughs> on the West Coast. So yeah, this one is a uh, so many details. So you worked on all the gradients. Yes, yeah. everything yeah. beautiful. And then you were sharing that you work more and more uh, in characters. Yeah. Now I work with with another illustrator. Okay. His what's... name is Gazol. Oh, Gazol. Yeah. And uh, and we work together. <laughs> it's very exciting process. It's very yeah. Very you like it? Creative. Yeah. Well, it looks great. Still an illustrator. Yeah. Yeah, wow. plus uh, Photoshop for the for the texture. For the texture yeah. and the shadows, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. So when we discussed uh, about uh, this live stream, we were like, okay, what should we do? Because you know, Marilar is uh, uh, how can I say that a renowned illustrator in France. So she she has a lot of work. <laughs> She's very busy, mm -mm -mm -mm. and uh, and we we had this idea. I like, said, oh, maybe for the first time. We could do some commission work live. So, so mm -hmm. what you will uh, do live for three days, two hours per day, is uh, a book cover. Yes. What is the the project? Um, so it's a it's a book cover for um, um, a Spanish uh, editor. Oh, actually, I saw a tweet by them. You know, they they tweeted about your stream. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's very nice. <laughs> so, yeah, Krishy from is live. <laughs> And, um, What's the name of the editor? Um, so. uh, the name I will. Oh, attends, parce qu'il y a un petit right, souci avec mon, oh, ma tablette. It's not connected. Uh, oh, maybe you need to no, no. Okay. unplug and plug <laughs> it. Okay. So. Oh, you know why? Yes, the <laughs> extension. Yeah. So yeah. So that's the first pro tip for you. When you want to use the tablet, plug it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wireless. Sorry. <laughs> first pro tip. Okay. So I have the the brief I can show you. Oh yeah, so yeah, um, so, so it will be the first time on Adobe Live you will see like real work. Uh, so uh, Marilor and the, and the book editor has been super nice, and they agreed to uh, yeah just uh, to share you know what. Uh, so is it Austral Editorial? Is that the name? Austral. Austral, yeah. mm -hmm. Austral Editorial. So Austral Austral Editorial. I'm trying to say it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she she will uh, yeah she, she will uh, oh Mali spamming yeah Mali stay quiet because I can put you quiet here okay I mean, okay we just put uh -huh. you quiet mm -hmm. so she's using a, a Wacom tablet yeah um, and uh, yeah just plug it you got it <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> sorry so. Uh, the commission is about uh, um, a very famous um, uh, fairy tale. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about uh, Peter Pan, and right. um, and the publisher is um, uh, specialized in um, uh, children books. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's for a, a young audience uh, around um, twelve years old. Okay. So it's a it's a book for ch for children, and I have to do the cover uh, for for it. So they gave me they contact me two two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and uh, give me a very detailed brief, and um, and now I have to to work on a, on this illustration for for the cover. Okay. So, so what is the brief? I mean, uh, the brief is a. Um, very colorful uh, illustration plus uh, um, very um, with a big uh, typographic composition on it. Okay, uh, a lot of typography. Yeah. Interesting. Um, it's, it's something very so important. So, is this something you can, have I to do? Show? Yeah, 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 you can yeah. show, of course. I yeah. Can show. Um, oh, so, look at that. Okay. Um, so, now I can show your screen. Yeah. And now they can see the covers. Yeah. So this is the the um, the, the, the the book they already published. Okay. And uh, we can see that uh, the oh, yeah. typography is very important on the on the compositions. 
So. Oh. You know what? The book on the right, yeah. Alicia Pais, mm -hmm. I think it has been made by Martina Flor, who was on the stream with us like three weeks ago. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've already <laughs> seen that. Maybe people in the chat, you remember when, when we were at Adobe Max in San Diego three weeks ago? Oh, I'm pretty sure I, I've already seen that. So I'm pretty sure it's uh, by Martina Flor. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> So I have to do the next book now. Okay. And um, so you have to do the next one about yeah. Peter Pan. Yeah, Let's about Peter Pan. And um, so we discuss about the typography on the composition and about uh, the illustrations. I wanted something very colorful and a very detailed illustration plus the the uh, composition, the typographic composition. And Jason, say you're right, Michael. So Jason was 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 watching the, the stream at Max. So okay. yeah, thanks. Uh, Fabless is asking, why are you so talented? Now, it's true, uh, Maria, you stop, <laughs> you do something. <laughs> so she, she, will, uh, yeah, she will design something very badly just for you. <laughs> <laughs> First time, <laughs> she will do something bad. Well, <laughs> so no, no. I, ha I have this. Be amazing. <laughs> I have this and uh, now I have to find something to, to do with, uh, okay. with the, um, yeah, the line, uh, editorial line. Same universe. Yeah. Same, uh, uh, what is very difficult, it's, it's, a, it's about a book very, very uh, known and, um, and there's a lot of uh, other covers about this book. We uh, know a lot of pictures that have been already do done. Mm -hmm. this. So it's not very easy for me to to do something that has already already be created it's, it's, it's not a very yeah. easy exercise it's not but easy i would but try you to like do something to be challenged you like new <laughs> yeah. challenges yeah i do <laughs> okay so then what's so, next what's your um, next step okay, so they gave that. me yeah uh, so i see so, board so what is it yeah this is a so this is other you. kind of uh, okay, of you. cover you decided to create a mood board to yeah, see exactly. what's on the market, so you don't do the same, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, she's using a Wacom uh, intro. Oh, it's a small one, actually. Yeah, it's yeah, small. very basic one, you know, mm. because, <laughs> because you have a Cintiq at home. Yes, uh, it's my uh, first day. Oh, you <laughs> just got Cintiq. it today? Yeah. Oh, she just got a, is it the 27 <laughs> HD? Yeah. The big one? So. Yeah. But not in the, the studio is too small. <laughs> the studio is a, is a closet. So we don't have room for, for the 27. <laughs> so now she's using a very small one, but mm -hmm. she, she, you are used to this tablet, right? It's yeah. something you used a lot. Yeah. So, uh, so they... Uh, uh, and uh, Felipe is asking you, Marie, so in your process, do you still use like uh, traditional items such as pen on paper, you know, a brush pen? Uh, no, when I don't. Work. No, you uh, directly work in digital. Um, I I, uh, I make sketches on my uh, sketchbook. Oh, very with small paper. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's very very small sketches. Oh, okay. so. Small sketches just for the composition yeah. and. Yeah, just just to see the lines and. Uh, the structure. Yeah. And then you and you start uh, drawing in Illustrator. Interesting. Mm, not exactly. I ah, start ah. I start drawing on uh, Photoshop, on the. Uh, with my with my uh, Wacom, okay. Uh, to to find the real composition and uh, place some details, so we can see this. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, uh, they give me the template for the for the cover to see the the format. Yeah. Okay, so you have the layout, you know, the dimensions of the yeah. of the page. Exactly. And, and now uh, the they type. give and ah. give me some. Oh, the they, they gave you a, a brief for the type. Yes. Ah. Yes. So each okay, it should evoke the imagination, a world where everything is impossible. And by the way, thanks to our friends, um, uh, the Austral Editorial mm -hmm. Ediciones. Mm -hmm. Thanks for giving us the right, you know, to the ability to share the creative process. It's very important and very inspiring for the community because we, we we see like a real brief you know yeah and our idea of lettering would be our oh, retro 
interesting. Retro mm -hmm. typography, mm -hmm. like the ones below, though it doesn't necessarily have to be like this. Okay, so th so they have a creative direction in mind. I mean, it's good also to have a, a customer like this with yeah. a, already a yeah. vision. But it's not very easy for me because I, I like creating typography, but uh, it's not the same exercise to create a typo and um, use a very uh, uh, stylistic typography. It's, it's not the same exercise, and it was not very easy for me to find a, to find a, a, a good composition with mm -hmm. a with a nice typography. So first, I start working on a, on a sketch. Um, to find the composition and find the ID. So the ID okay, was so to that's work. The sketch. Yeah. Oh. So um, I wanted to create a, a big composition with a typography on okay. on the middle, in the middle, and uh, with in the background a very big moon uh, and many details from from the book with uh, Peter Pan and um, and, uh, and the, the ship. ship. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nice. So here is uh, the the sketch. Um, here we've got some tests with uh, various uh, typography. So I try something to make a composition with uh, with some types I, I didn't have on, on my computer. It was a, a it was not free funds. Yeah. Was, so I um, I just test uh, a little bit a kind of composition okay, with different yeah. type. different typefaces okay. to see how it behaves. Okay. Uh, I send it to them. Okay. Uh, and then and they chose the yeah the, the, the last six, one so, yeah number six. Uh, so, uh, Marius is asking, is it digital sketch or just pen and paper, this? It's digital. It's digital. It's already digital. So, yeah, I can already see the lines uh, coming from Illustrator here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's already very precise. Um, then, uh, I try to, um, to make a better composition with the typography, mm -hmm. with the one that has been chosen by the editor. Uh, I did two sketches. Uh, you can see. So it's a bit uh, different, not a lot. You can see on the on the T, on the E, some difference. And someone in the chat, uh, Johnny Five says, "Yeah, hey, I choose that one too, like number six. Yeah. You know, when he says, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So okay, so they you try some. Contrast and yeah, and then I try I try to make a wait yeah uh, in black and white I try to make a contrast with just a brush on Photoshop. Mm -hmm. It was a very it's, a, it's it's very easy it's very efficace. Yeah, very efficient, very fast. Yeah, just using the brush you, you play with the contrast. Mm. So I send it to them okay. and uh, they just they were still good. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, <laughs> yes, they just wanted to have a, a bigger moon and a bigger typography composition. So we just focus a little bit on uh, on the on my illustration. So we. Crop. Oh, they are, yes, they are asking about the why. So yeah, the why in Spanish means and yeah. 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 So that's why Peter Pan y when <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, yeah. Thank you, Alejandro. Santa Cruz, I'm, I'm sure you know better than us, but thanks for informing the chat. Um, so what did she use to make those? Uh, so she started uh, with a you know, simple sketch in Illustrator and then a brush in Photoshop mm. just to bring the contrast and a font. So someone was asking, where did you find the typeface? Yeah, Do you uh, remember? I find it on um, myphone.com. <clears throat> on myphone.com. So okay. we got it here. Yeah. So what so, was interesting is that font have uh, various um, yeah uh, weight yeah, yeah so exactly. it's a big uh, font family mm -hmm. and uh, and the other place where you can go if you're a Creative Cloud member is Typekit and uh, Typekit used to be you know for a, a subscription so when you use on websites you subscribe to a font that you can use on the website mm -hmm. and then for Creative Cloud members we changed the licensing so you can use it in your desktop apps but now we just announced and it was a 
three weeks ago, so before you started on this project, but yeah. we just announced the TypeKit Marketplace. So now we have some deals with uh, foundries where you can also buy fonts for a book cover, mm. for instance. Yeah. So that's new. So I invite you, by the way, to visit the new TypeKit website. Experience is uh, really great. They, they made a great job. Um, then now, uh, now okay. ah. I know the, the composition and every details and the contrast, I have to uh, find a color mode. And okay, so that's so, another mood board, but yeah. more for the color theme. Exactly. So bluish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bluish. Exactly. Oh, and you made this one. Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> and you worked with uh, Violaine and Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> you told me that. <laughs> and you told me that you you called them to know how it's like to be on stage. Yeah. They told you. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mass. <laughs> Oh merde, you can say oh merde. Oh merde. Bon, ben merde, bon ben. Et Violaine voilà. et Jeremy, they, they, they were on the stream uh, with us, uh, it was uh, in May, at OFF in Barcelona for one hour. Ok, mais c'est avec vous. Fun. Yeah, yeah, they, ah, je ne savais pas. Yeah, they made a live stream with me. It was so cool. Ok, bon ben. Jeremy was drawing, drawing for the first time on the iPad. It was cool. Voilà. Uh, was Donc. that not TypeKit? No, she didn't use TypeKit. She should use TypeKit. Yeah, but you know, you learn every day. You know? yeah. <laughs> so now she will use TypeKit. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> so uh, I will open the uh, the Illustrator file. Okay. So I try to. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Um, oh. c'est pas grave. Ah, okay. So, so you have the sketch now. Ouais, c'est il a pas retrouvé celui-là. C'est pas grave. Je vais le, je l'ai peut-être ah. pas en double. C'est pas, c'est pas grave. Do you need it or? It's... No, not no. really for the okay. moment. So I have the. Comment je peux faire? Oop. Are you want to? Oh, like so you want to bring this? To... Ouais, ouais, ouais. C'est okay. juste ça. Je suis désolé, je suis pas. Oh, that's fine. Euh, non, c'est pas bon. C'est pas celui-là. C'est celui-là. Oh, Hop. Yeah, yeah. Voilà. There's just a missing file. Okay, so... So Damien is asking, where do you find your inspiration? Do you have a routine or like you say, okay, every day I do this to get inspired or is this just a part of your life? You know? I think it's part of my life. Yeah, I don't know you, exactly. you go on, on websites or... Yes, I do. I go yeah. uh, <laughs> on Behance, on Behance. and uh, Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest, yeah. yeah. And and, uh, and books, I guess. I mean, mm. yeah. You work a lot also for uh, magazines mm. so in the print industry. Yeah. Mm. We, I think we need to to stay uh, aware. Aware, yeah. Yeah. To. Ah, ça j'y arrive plus. Éviter de de tomber justement dans la. How to avoid to yeah. Always uh, to yeah to have the same routine and yeah, do exactly. the same thing every day. Right. It's true. I can do live translation to you, yeah. mm. like in okay. a, on a okay. on a sport channel. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Ah, but I continue in French. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> not English English class. <laughs> okay, so uh, and you're thing. Now I have let, the. They will let you know if you're. Uh, English is cute or not? They will okay. let you know. Okay. You will see in the chat. Oh. <laughs> so now I Rob have. Rob Generate is in the house. Oh yeah, Rob is a great artist from the US. Okay. He's watching you now. Okay. No pressure. Mm. <laughs> Rob is in the house. Ouch, my name. Yeah, Robzilla. Uh, so someone was asking about the color. Um, yeah. Theme. Uh, the yeah. color wench. Uh, how did you make it? Uh, I have my uh, you, you my pick colors. colors. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, based on this, and you pick colors. I pick colors, but uh, for each one, uh, I uh, adjust uh, the color here okay, to have so a perfect. You, you create it one yeah, by one, and yeah, 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 to yeah. have a the perfect match. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Alex Toth, I said your name. Uh, Thank you. Please okay. and thank you. 
Okay, so we have Our the guest sketch. hall says that your English is perfect. Okay. Thank you, guest hall. <laughs> so we have the type and a, a, a little correction on the Y. On the Y, okay. Um, it was asking to, to okay. me to, 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 to change a little bit as well. To fix it, okay. Yeah. No, it looks good. Uh, so, uh, what is interesting with that type is um, on the glyphs. Je sais plus si on dit Oh, you have uh, alternates. Have, yeah. So you can choose for yeah. the P, I want to use this one. Yeah, yeah. So this is something we improved actually in, uh, in Illustrator. I don't know if you yeah. update to the last release. Maybe not. Uh, 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 is it CC uh, 2017 or? Uh, okay, we can check tomorrow. I will ask you to update. Okay. And it will break everything. But uh, oh, sorry. Okay. But if you go inside um, and just select a P, for instance, with the text tool. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, I'm just just trying to break everything. So, okay, so now with the new release of Illustrator, it will display all the glyphs. Okay. Yeah, I can okay. find it. I, I will okay. show you. I can find it. Um, okay, I will launch Illustrator. And this is new, like... Uh, okay, okay. It has like two or three weeks. Okay. okay Brand sorry. new feature. <laughs> but it will save you some time. And I will show you how it works. So I don't have this typeface, but I will find one mm. with... Uh, with some alternates. Okay, let me share my screen for our friends. And uh, okay, we start a new print composition. That's great. And okay, so first when I type, mm -hmm. Lorem Ipsum. Mm -hmm. That's new. You see? Yeah. You didn't, <laughs> didn't have to do anything. It works. Uh, so I will say, uh, hello, Krushi form. And I will just increase the size to 60. And we will find a font with alternates. Oh, okay. So what's new? Live preview. Mm -hmm. It was in Illustrator, I think, yeah. a few versions back. Then it disappeared, and now okay. it's back. Yeah. Uh, you can have uh, favorites. And also, you can okay. say, I just want to display um, the serif font in my list, or the slap serif. So you can sort your list of fonts, which is new. Mm -hmm. And say, I just want to display the fonts from Typekit. And let's pick this one. So this one, I know why this one. I know there, uh, there are some uh, glyphs with alternates. So which means the typeface designer has created several okay. designs yeah. for the same fonts. So let's, if I select the O, mm -hmm. here we go. Okay. It's directly here. Oh, okay. See? The E, I don't like this one. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Creative Cloud. <laughs> so I want you to update this illustrator. Okay, I will. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have the type. Um, tap, tap, tap. So Samantha yeah. is asking, uh, okay, if I update to CC 2017, then I can, I, can I open a file which is CC 2015? Yes, of course you can. And you can always save to previous versions. Okay, so we really want you to be able to work with anyone. Uh, oh, good question for you by uh, <laughs> Giampaolo Vitiello. Okay, I'm trying to pronounce it well, sorry. So when you buy a font, okay, for uh, a customer, yeah. such as this one. Yeah. Um, do you buy it for yourself and then you use it on as many projects as you like? Or do you ask the customer to buy the fonts? Uh, I don't know the, the, the process. I don't know if, uh, if I have to buy it or if okay. it's a client. But this time it was a client. Yeah, so usually that's my advice. Make the client pay uh, because you as a designer, so let's say uh, for instance, the, the book will be printed. Okay, and it will be in all the shops all over Spain, and maybe the foundries will see, oh, this is my font. Mm -hmm. And then they want to make sure that uh, the font has been licensed mm -hmm. for print. Um, then they will they will check, you know, who acquired this font, and mm -hmm. they will check the name of the editor mm -hmm. as well. So always make sure that um, the editor gets the font white, the license, 
And as a designer, you can also license it for yourself and use it on other projects. But remember that purchasing a font, it's it's purchasing a license and it becomes a legal um, contract. Okay. And and try to be fair with the foundries because uh, the font wasn't very expensive. I mean, I thought no, it was like 20 a, euros. Like 20 euros. Uh, Imagine the work behind designing a font. Uh, it's a mm -hmm. process of one or two years mm -hmm. minimum to uh, design all the glyphs, all the, and you have alternates, all the different weights. Yes. So I, I, I guess you just bought one, uh, one style, yeah, one weight. Exactly. So that's why it's 20 euros. But uh, yeah, so it's cool. So the good news, my friends, is that we have three days with Marilor, two hours per day, and she will create this book cover live in front of you. Peter Pan. So this was not just a pitch. She will make it live in front of you. Mm. And we will also give away signed uh, print, signed illustrations by Marilor. Maybe not this book cover. Or maybe yes, maybe you know what? Maybe we can wait for the, the book to be ready. Yeah. I don't know exactly but we, when it will be. But we will find a good price. Yeah. To be very good. <laughs> and we will give away the first print in 30 minutes. Uh, Rob, <laughs> we are broadcast, uh, broadcasting from Paris. Yeah, that's the first. So now we do live streams from Paris and from San Francisco because Rob usually is in San Francisco. Okay. Okay, I'll let you work. <laughs> okay, I do. Don't worry, oh. just work, okay? Okay, I stop. Jason, you will love this book um, cover. Okay, we will find a way. We, we will talk to the book editor and see if we can uh, create posters from the book cover. Oh, Jason is a huge fan of Peter Pan. Yeah, I hope you will win, Jason. I hope. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, as you are working, uh, so uh, friends in the chat, you can get uh, also a chance to win a Creative Cloud subscription and your illustration, your own poster printed on art paper if you enter the contest. And the rules are on adobelive.com. It's super easy to participate. You go on adobelive.com, there is a contest tab and you just create an illustration using Illustrator or Photoshop, a poster. And you need to use the word create inside the poster. It could be anything. Once your poster is done, you share it on Twitter, adding the Adobe Live hashtag. And on Friday, I will uh, pick the best posters. I will announce uh, which are the best posters on Twitter with my Twitter account. And uh, I will print your illustration. So ask for a high definition file, okay, high resolution file, print it on art paper, ship it to you, and you will get Creative Cloud. So I will invite you to share your art. If you want to share with uh, Marilor also any kind of illustration you have made to get live feedback, just use Twitter and the Adobe Live hashtag, okay? And we will review uh, in the coming hour what you have shared on Twitter. So don't hesitate. Adobe Live, Twitter, share your art, share your illustrations, and you will get some live feedbacks. Suman, you don't know, maybe you will win today. You, I mean, who knows? We need colors with these lines. Yes, yeah, she's working on it. Very. Only one winner, uh, okay, so for the print, only one winner today, another print tomorrow, another print on Thursday. Also today, you can win, if you stay in the chat with us, someone will win the Creative Cloud subscription today, tomorrow, and on Thursday. And, uh, and then you can enter the contest if you want to get more chances, thanks to your design skills and ideas to win Creative Cloud. We love you guys to review. Okay, Simon, just post it on Twitter and uh, I will make sure to review what, what's on Twitter. Okay, don't worry. Um, okay. uh, Samantha is asking, will you be creating also illustrations inside the book or just the cover? Um, like in the book, will you create illustrations inside or just the cover? No, just the cover. Just the cover. I don't think there will be They don't use illustrations, no. no. Okay. Um, uh, Geek Girl Gone Blonde. Okay, that's a longer nickname. He's asking you, 
is it the book going to be like a real one printed or just a digital like a PDF. Printed. It's printed, so yeah. it will be in the shops and everything. Yeah. So in this case, do you work in the RGB or CMYK? CMYK. CMYK from uh, the start. We can see it here. Oh, yeah, it's here. So that's yeah. why. Uh, yes, from the from the from Although the beginning. Rufus is not happy because you know Rufus will tell you that today you can work 100% in RGB, but that's Rufus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably white, uh, right? Because he's the print expert of the team okay so maybe we will uh, have a debate later he will tell you why but uh. okay um, I'm, I'm interested to understand because i have a talk with a a, a printer yeah. this this week this week and uh, he told me something uh, like that like that also yeah, yeah. so uh, rufus can can explain you can talk to rufus later he will okay. tell you why okay <laughs> I mean, for the main contest, oh, my soul, no, no, there will be not w one winner for the contest. Uh, there will be between five to ten winners. Winners. <sighs> I need to learn how to pronounce it. <laughs> because it can mean uh, either uh, vainqueur. Oui. But if I, if we don't pronounce it well, it, it means something else. Ah, okay. Like, uh, a bit. Ah, okay. So it's not, it's not good. <laughs> no. It's not good. Okay. So yeah, I'm always having a hard time. <laughs> Tell okay. us why. What's happening now? Mike, go on. So Angelo is asking a question about InDesign, but Rufus will answer it in the chat, I guess, because it's about IDML. This is classic stuff for Rufus. And Scott, yeah, for the trial period now, Creative Cloud is a seven day. Uh, for seven days, you can try all the Creative Cloud apps with all the features for free. And uh, actually, we decided to to move to seven days because we just checked how people use the trial versions, and uh, usually they just use it the first week. So we thought, okay, maybe it makes sense. And I think it makes sense, you know. With uh, and there are so many tutorials. If you go on Adobe.com. Now, even if you, you if you open the apps now, like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design, you have templates, tutorials. Just when you open the app, so it's super easy to learn. <laughs> okay. Jason, you're checking it right now. Okay, cool. This picture was vector vectorize. Okay, Hanene is a. Merging French and English like that. Uh, so no, it's uh, the picture was uh, sketched in Illustrator by no. Marilla uh, in Photoshop. Uh, in Photoshop, like the the background, you mean yeah. the, the oh yeah, you just use sketch. a brush in Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah. So not on paper, directly in Photoshop. She's yeah. drawing the basic shapes, and now she's working in Illustrator to create the vectors. Um. So how do you decide? Uh, why do you start with? Uh, the center and now I, I I I don't even know what you are doing now. <laughs> what these shapes? What is uh, it? So for the moment, I try to uh, to fix the the color and the oh, okay. big. Are oh, the big uh, blocks? Yeah. I see. I see. And uh, I. Uh, um, and Gasol is uh, asking you how many times do you plan to work on this picture? So first, do you think that the six hour stream would be enough? Maybe not. Huh? Maybe not. Mm. I don't think so. But she will try. <laughs> I will. Great. But you can work uh, also on it uh, in the meantime, you know, yeah, during the day I, if you want. You know. Okay. I yeah, agree. yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. And usually, like, okay, if I tell you, you have to create this illustration. In your opinion, how long does it take? Let's say uh, twelve. Um, usually, I uh, uh, it takes three days to create an illustrator, an illustration. Mm -hmm. But this one is um, I use very uh, not 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 so much color, and um, it's for children, and so I need to make something simple. Okay. So I think I can. It can take 
uh, two, two days, two days mm. with the sketch, with the okay. type research. Two days. Yeah, with yeah. 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 still very fast. Yeah. I think. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Donc, uh, là. Okay. So Suman is asking, do you do any research online before deciding what elements to put in? or to compose the scene. So when uh, you create the mood board, like do you go online and search for everything? Um, so this one yeah. is for colors. Yeah. And you had one, or uh, in this case, you just took uh, book covers. No, c'était pas ça, c'était ça. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You just took all the book covers on the market, so the most creative ones and said, okay. It, it was easy to uh, find yeah. the axis because uh, we can see the moon is very important in mm. the in this uh, good point it's a it's a big symbol for for the, the moon and the sheep on some yeah, covers yeah so what you added is maybe the the rocks like the cliff yeah uh, this will be new um. mm. and the typography in the center mm. yeah nice Yeah, good question, Simon. Okay. And yes, Justin, as you said, it's not just the work in Illustrator. You have to consider, you're a freelancer, right? Yeah. yeah so you have to consider uh, all the discussions with the customer, uh, the feedback, uh, mood board, research, uh, typo, like typeface search, just finding a font. I mean, it takes uh, sometimes hours. Uh, validate the font, validate the design, and then you can start working on it. And sometimes after you have discussions with the printer that you mm. take into consideration, uh, depending on the printing uh, technique. So yeah, it takes a lot of time. Mm. So Yasser is asking you, uh, have you ever recorded videos like speed art before? Mm -hmm. You know the time lapse where you. I've no? seen it, but I never. Did. No, you never did no, it. No. Okay, maybe next time, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, no, they I'm want you to be on YouTube. Yeah, she's very busy, Jason, you know? <laughs> she wants you to create her, your YouTube channel. Okay. A vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not very excited. <laughs> she's, she's like, okay. When you say okay in French, it's not good. <laughs> not good. Uh, I'm okay. concerned. Evelyn, okay, is asking a good question. Okay. Okay, don't be shy. Okay. What is the funniest, okay, the most funny, or the dumbest, really the most stupid thing a customer ever ever asked you to do? Uh... <laughs> or maybe a feedback, the classic one. Like uh... make, make, yeah, make it bigger, make the logo bigger, make it pop, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. No, I don't no. remember. You um, only have good customers. So lucky. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, I just remember one thing when I was a student. I worked on a book, uh, which was with uh, very simple colors, and uh, for each color, I had a a, a type. Or, okay. And. Uh, all the illustration I created was from that uh, color range and uh, uh, it was a very conceptual book <laughs> and the uh, the publisher told me that he loved the concept but didn't like the colors and oh. then he was not uh, ready to publish it just because the color oh, was not the, the good one. Yeah. So it was a bit yeah, stupid it's, to... Yeah, it's weird because this is something yeah. easy to change. Yeah. 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 But <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> it's hard, you know, to exchange with uh, customers, you know. Uh, you, 
because uh, usually they are not designers. So, so I get your question, Evelyn, like, hey, what is the funniest or the best thing a customer has ever asked you? Um, it's, it's hard, but you have to keep it in mind that they are not designers. So that's why they call you. Yeah. They, they need designers. So sometimes they, t they ask you something and for us it's stupid, doesn't make any sense. But So you have to teach, you have to educate. Mm. <laughs> uh, um. So Mark Go <laughs> is asking, Michael, are you using Adobe Connect to do this webinar? No, Mark. And uh, okay, what time is it? Is it uh, 2007? No. Uh, no, Mark, we are not using Connect. We are using YouTube Live and on adobelive.com. So we hope you enjoyed the experience. You're welcome, Evelyn. Please feel free to ask questions. Um, and uh, Parmentier Guillaume, Guillaume Parmentier, is asking what is the difference between CMYK and RGB, for instance? Ah. Uh... Should we call Rufus? <laughs> Rufus. Uh, it's too long. It's too long. Oh my God. It's too long. So, but for years, like CMYK, which I would say was the standard for prints, because this is how you print using four colors. And uh, that's the, what's the name? Uh, it's not additive, but uh, it's the like subtractive technology. RGB is exactly the opposite. With uh, red, green, and blue, you, 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 the more you add light, the more it goes to the white. And so, Opposite technology used by screens, used by your iPhone. So for years we had to deal with that, but the thing that Rufus will tell you is that more and more printers and mm -hmm. uh, printers like men and also the, the devices like the machine can handle RGB very well now and convert automatically RGB to CMYK because we learned a lot and the ink qualities are much better. We have a bigger range. When in the past, you know, when we used to work in CMYK, we were losing a lot of uh, punch, you know, a lot of energy in the pictures. So the the colors would look more um, grayish, you know, like more uh, flat. Uh, but yeah, that was a very poor explanation. Uh, you will find a lot of documentation <laughs> on the web. Oh, I'm such a problem with the uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're doing fast. Eh? Yeah, so I'm talking about RGB and now I look at your screen. <laughs> we already have a swamp and everything. Uh, yeah. Getting there. J'ai un problème. Je sais pas. J'ai un What's, problème What is the issue? What is the issue? Okay. Uh, so you have a bug. Uh, yeah. Okay. But, uh, look at the layer. Is the layer okay? Yeah. Okay. The layer is okay. <laughs> so what is the issue? Uh, C'est un raccourci clavier, je pense. Mais oh, uh, a keyboard shortcut. Uh, what do you want to do? Je veux juste faire passer là-bas derrière, derrière la main. Je fais pas mix et pas back et ah bah ça marchait. Bah je sais pas, ça marchait pas tout à l'heure. I don't know how you did that, but it worked. Okay. So you wanted to oh put it behind? Yeah. Uh no, it's okay for this one, but not for this one. Okay, no problem. Okay, what is your trick? Pas mix. Pomme B, X extraire, B, back. Pom, OK, common uh, B for back, like back. paste in the back? Yeah. Is it common B? Oh. And uh, F for, for okay, front. So you, OK, so you, uh, common Pomme X, you cut it, Yeah. you select something else, and if you do uh, yeah. common B, it paste it, but yeah. in the back. Yeah, in the back of the Oh, this bit. is something we need to tell uh, Swerve. Yeah. He was uh, fighting with, because we... So Swerve was, was, was with us, but he had a lot of uh, traps. So yeah. first the Cintiq wasn't working because he yeah. forgot the, the plug adapter. So he was using the intros. And then the keyboard was a French keyboard. So Azerty, oh. not QWERTY. Mm. So we were looking for the keyboard shortcuts, but tomorrow we will tell him. It's a, it's a good trick. Command X, select an element, and Command B to paste it in the back. Very good. And Simon, you are waiting for the ship, yeah. <laughs> Be patient. So, Mr. Damien, what can you recommend to a totally beginner? Mr. Damien, if you are a beginner with Illustrator, my advice would be uh, to install Illustrator first. And then um, maybe start with the simple shapes to understand vectors. Just start with uh, trying to draw a star 
you know oh. uh, or it combine uh, some um, some circles you oh, know just to, to understand and and then oh. learn how to master the pen tool that's the most important tool when you master it you can do anything okay so what's going on uh, même problème je sais pas you don't know what's going on uh, so do you have the selection tool yeah yeah uh, i don't know what i you don't what know. is you okay. know. it's not the layer oh no because it's typo no. No. so it's just one layer okay yeah we'll, uh, we'll see oh she's already working on the ship you're lucky <laughs> Yeah, first, turn on your computer. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Go to adobe.com. Get Creative Cloud. Install Illustrator. And also, by the way, if you're, if you're a beginner with Illustrator, if you go on adobe.com, once you are signed in, and go to the Illustrator page, or even with your Creative Cloud desktop app in Illustrator, you will see uh, a lot of tutorials. There is a help, a learn section with tons of tutorials for beginners. They are all free. And uh, usually when I, when I learn how to use a new tool, I try to have a goal in mind. For instance, okay, I will try to draw a ship. Ship, See, I mean, because a sheep is the animal. Ship, <laughs> yeah, ship. Okay, transportation <laughs> on wire. Gentle, I'm not angry. I'm never angry. Donc. You give tips uh, on okay. logo I made. So yeah, so Parmentier, Guillaume, okay. You want some tips on the logo you made? Yeah, we'll be happy to provide live feedback. To do so, share it on Twitter using the hashtag Adobe Live. And I will monitor Twitter in a few seconds to see, uh, you know, what has been shared by you, the community. And we will ask Marilor to give some uh, feedback. She can be very mean, okay? She can be very tough. Oh. Don't be offended. Marilor is a. She's a professional. You know, so. <laughs> she can be like, c'est de la merde. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's the feedback. Okay, okay Marilor. Oh, there, there was a goat? No, I did the goat noise. <laughs> what did you do? What was the noise? <laughs> That's a goat. It's a goat. So what does a sheep do? A sheep? I, I know. A mouton. What is that? Uh, just a <laughs> sheep. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it was hey, a goat. Um... Okay, okay, got it. But it's very close, no? It's not the same sound. I know. I know. I, I grew up in Paris, guys. <laughs> we only have pigeons. That's it. <laughs> So, that's it. Okay. Okay, I think it was very interesting moment. I wanted to share on YouTube Live. It, it can become a highlight. Okay, there is a highlight feature on YouTube. I think it's totally worth it. <laughs> Okay, as she's working, I'm now uh, checking what you are sharing on Twitter, and we will ask uh, Marie Robert just in five minutes. Oh my God, we have some very good entries. Hmm. We had someone who did the uh, hand lettering. Oh, you he was. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Please loop that segment. No, no, Rob. Don't even try. Ah, Coffee Caffeine is back. <laughs> oh, Coffee Caffeine. Coffee Caffeine. He's from India. Wow. Yeah. Ah. He's very active, very good designer from India. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we will do some uh, live feedback. Marilor, I will just ask you to pause. So we have this entry. I mean, look at that. Someone who did some... Uh, Lettering, I guess it's for the contest because I see the create word. Mm -hmm. Hand lettering poster and by hand. Wow. It's awesome. Wow. 
Carlos, maybe you will be one of the winners on Friday. It's very good work. Okay, we love some feedback. Hey, light. Okay, so if you have some uh, feedback about the tree of the night. Uh, uh, yeah, what would uh, you like to... Uh, you need to um, mix more colors. More colors? The, yeah, even if you have a, a predominant. Yeah, uh, like a main color. A main color. Uh, it's always useful to to um, put a complementary yeah, color. complementary color. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very useful. Okay, so to have um, something more rich. Yeah. And because um, the texture looks good, uh, composition, contrast is okay. But yeah, I, I really like put more colors, complementary yeah. colors to yeah. to make it pop more. Yeah. And uh, yeah, good job, Alan. Maybe another one by Alan. Maybe like this. Just clicking something. With the it's, car. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Very peaceful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. Wow. Mm. Okay. It's very deep, Alan. Very deep. <laughs> Good job. So we have our friend Coffee Caffeine. Made with Cinema 4D, Illustrator and Photoshop. Wow. Uh. Good job. <laughs> I don't know what is in your mind, but it's, uh, it looks great. <laughs> and we have Dominic Nixon. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a university project. So I guess it's a start, you know? So mm -hmm. if you have any advice, like what would you... Um, uh, <laughs> uh, to use a brush. Uh, add some textures. Yeah. yeah. Add yeah. Some so texture. maybe that would be the next step. But um, follow... Um, stay with us, Dominique, because you will see at some point at the end, maybe on Thursday, mm -hmm. when she will move to Photoshop, how she uses brushes in Photoshop to add some texture and relief, you know, like um, relief, really uh, depth, a new dimen uh, dimension to the picture, just using Photoshop, and this is something that will really help you, in this case. I like the video game spirit. Uh, yeah, maybe you can maybe try more creative things with color, because this is very classic color scheme, but yeah. Good job. Thanks for sharing, it's very cool. Like that. Create and share. Uh, okay, so they were asking about Alan Ren portfolio. Okay, let me put the URL back. It's here. behance.net slash A minus light. That's Alan Red, okay? behance.net A minus light. Take a screenshot. Done. Okay, let's go back to your illustration. And in two minutes, we will give away a signed print. Or maybe this one we will see with the, with the book editor of Marilla. Someone in the chat, we need to find a keyword. But... Oh, actually, I have, I have a very tough question. <laughs> usually, yeah, usually we ask like uh, easy questions, you know, for the keywords in the chat. But this one will be very hard. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think it will be the hardest one we ever asked on Adobe Live. Yeah, because I mean, they will get a, a print by Cruciform. I mean, that's something. Like, do you sell prints, illustrations? Yeah, yeah I do. You see? Yeah. She, she's uh, in the market. <laughs> I shall. The evil French <laughs> lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think okay. I have something for you. Okay, let me try something. Okay. Let me know if it works in the chat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rufus, you will let me know in 30 seconds. Because I have this new crazy workflow, guys, where I'm launching Audition CC before, like, to cut the audio before the streaming software. So you don't hear the noise of air conditioning and compressing the voice and crazy.
<laughs> okay, I think it worked. <laughs> nice. Okay. Music is loud? Oh, okay. So I guess it depends on the, the music, but... Uh, I will, I will, I will fix it. Yeah, no, it should be okay. I mean, it's four percent. It's nothing. Four percent. <laughs> All different level. Uh, okay, Christian by Kelly. Oh, Kelly. So Kelly, she really wants to become a graphic designer. Like she really wants it. But she says, but I get really discouraged because my drawing drawing skills are not good. Uh, so you, you have to improve it. Sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no choice. Get back to work, Kelly. <laughs> No, it's very important to, yeah, it's, important uh, to it's, it's a very important part. I can tell this because um, uh, when I start working on as an illustrator and on illustrate on an illustrator, mm -hmm. um, I uh, I uh, I stop drawing on my sketchbook. I really stop drawing. Oh, you stop. Okay. And. Um, and day after day, I can feel that I, I lose my inspiration and my uh, mm. um, how to, um, skills. My, or yeah, my skills. Oh, okay. Yeah, really. So you feel that uh, yeah, for you it's a practice yeah. directly connected to your inspiration and what you create. Yeah, yeah, ah, interesting. Yeah. It's very important to, to make drawings before working on the computer because I think it's yeah. use a, a very specific part of our okay. brain. Yeah, maybe it's like a, a muscle, you know, like yeah. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. for uh, athletes, you know, professional athletes like you. But the good thing with uh, drawing, and that's what our friends in the chat are telling Kelly, is that it's all about practice. So it's true that just draw every day, uh, you know, um, it has become a routine because the, the the beauty of drawing is that the more you draw, the better you will become. So and uh, it's very important what? to leave complex from uh, from the. What is this from comment from Super Va Va Valala? Michael looks older on Facebook. What? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we, we stop the stream. Okay, we're finished. We no. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stefan, uh, you can watch all these streams later uh, on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. So, the easiest way uh, is just subscribe to the YouTube channel. There is a, a button um, below the video player on Adobe Live. I really invite you all to subscribe to the YouTube channel because you can be notified when a new live stream starts and we will do more and more live streams like that. And also when we upload a new video, uh, you will be aware. Okay, super la la la, yeah. I was kidding, no worries. I'm old, I know. <laughs> I don't mind. I have gray hair, I don't mind. Um, I think it's time for a giveaway. Okay, so how to get the giveaway? Step number one, you have to type a keyword in the chat, a secret keyword. I will tell you uh, how you can find the keyword in a few seconds. Step number two, make sure to subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. It will give you five times more chances because Nightbot is a robot and uh, he has an algorithm, a script that will pick someone in the chat. If you type the keyword, and uh, then uh, it will pick someone and you will have to contact Rufus on Twitter, but he will be in the chat. He will tell you what to do. And you can and you can win a signed print, signed illustration by Marilor Crucci, by Crucci Farm, which is uh, awesome. Okay, she works so fast I and mean, it's great. So the keyword is, okay, and don't, don't tell them. Don't tell them the answer. Okay. At the beginning of the stream, Marilar told you that she was from the south of France. <laughs> but from which city? Rufus doesn't know. So 
Okay, let's see I'm... if you are very focused. Okay, you have to find the name of the city where you grew up, basically. Okay, mm. as a child before moving to Paris four years ago. When was it? When did you move to Paris? More than ten years. Ten years ago. Oops. Okay, Gensel, you want me to to be proactive? No, no. Oh, he said sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's see if you find... Oh my god! They remember. <laughs> oh my god! Is this something you can Google? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. No, no. That is, it's, most, it's a small city. No, but they, okay. they remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow! <laughs> Good job, well. So yeah, some of you were, were very focused. Good job. Wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, keep the word coming, give you two more minutes, and we will give away a signed print. You have to contact Rufus on Twitter, but he will give you all the instructions in the chat. Nîmes, yes, that's the answer. Beautiful city with uh, an uh, a antique uh, arena, right. right, from Rome. The bad thing with Nîmes is that it's uh, in a, what's the name, in cube, you know? Like like a ball, a ball, a ball. So when it rains a lot, it gets flooded, right? Did you see like the city uh, flooded by water some, at some time? In Nîmes, did you get like uh, inundation? Oh, oui. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's the only thing at Nîmes which is mm -mm. dangerous. Water. But yeah, it's a beautiful, very old city. Okay, robot, nightbot, are you ready? Oh, perfect, because this is something who asked a very good question. So the winner is Evelyn Schwartz. Evelyn Schwartz, I remember you asked a question about, uh, I don't remember, but it was a very good one. Evelyn Schwartz, uh, do you get the name or first? Oh yeah, nightbot said the name. So you will see it in the chat. <coughs> and she said, thank you. Yeah, congratulations, Erling. You will receive a signed print by Cruciform. We don't we, we don't uh, know if it will be this cover. We hope so, but we have to talk to the, to the book editor first to get the approval. They have been very nice so far. Very open, so it's... Uh, which is good in this industry, it's not uh, common. Uh, okay, Guillaume, you sent a logo via Twitter. Okay, I missed that. Let me check. Where is Guillaume? Ah, Guillaume. Ah, Guillaume. You sent a logo on Twitter. Okay. Okay, Guillaume. For it, I don't see it, Guillaume. So maybe you sent it to Crushy Form, but not to myself. I don't see it. Can you add uh, Adobe Live as a hashtag so I will see it? This will help. If you can submit it again with the Adobe Live hashtag, it will help. Simone, keep faith. You can win. Uh, wow. Question for Adobe. Do we provide a reference board type function? Like pure ref. I have no idea what this is. Let me check what is pure ref before saying something weird. 
simple reference image. Ah. No, I, I would say that if you need something like this, uh, like pure ref, uh, I would use Adobe Stock. Uh, you can search for, uh, so we have more than uh, 60 millions of images now on Adobe Stock. And you can search for anything directly from the app, like Photoshop, Illustrator, and you don't have to license the image if it's just for reference. So you can search for uh, a skeleton or a break dancer pose and uh, drag and drop the preview in Photoshop and start uh, working with that. Shiva, don't worry, we have time. What about the mascot you tweeted? Oh my god. You became very active on Twitter now. The mascot, oh, I guess that's the one. Infinity Hunter. Mood. Okay. So we will review more because they are very active now. Okay, we start here. Oh, and Evelyn is very happy to receive uh, one of your prints. Mm -hmm. She says, no matter what, she's an amazing artist, so I would be proud of it. So. Thank you, Evelyn. Come. So if you want me to, uh, let's review some, uh, because they, they share with us, you know, some work they're working on. <laughs> <laughs> J'ai un petit souci de double click. Uh, ah, double click, yeah. Mm. Always tricky. So we have uh, Kind Mind. So is it a logo, Kind Mind? Okay, I will try to understand what this is. Okay. So it's a K. <clears throat> and then. Hard to tell. Hard to tell what you want to, to tell us, except the energy. So your name is Kind Mind. So are you trying to mix the K and the M? Mm. I'm not sure. I'm in good shapes, but I'm not sure about what you want to communicate here. Try to make it maybe more obvious. Some work by our friend Coffee Caffeine. Something went wrong. Okay, sorry. Katie. Oh, come on. Maybe I have to refresh. Okay. Oh, Jen. So maybe that's the one you were talking about, the Bounty Hunter. Uh, it's more close to flat design. You want to give an advice on this one? If you want to improve this with the colors, what would you do? Um. Uh, I'm not sure to see uh, the real color, but I think the the gray the mm -hmm. gray is a. Um, could be more warm, warm. warmer. What? Uh, it's the same. It's the same kind of, kind of uh, advice. You need to add color on your on your on your color shade. Hmm. Uh, I feel. Okay. Otherwise, you feel it's too flat, or do you less yeah, it's a bit flat, but energy it's, or yeah. 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 I, I don't like uh, uh, the the gray. Uh, which is only uh, oh, fifty percent, yeah. yeah. Perfect, great. Because it, it so I no, to... you don't feel anything. Oh, with it. no emotion. No. So maybe try to add some colors in the gray. Yeah, that's a good advice. Ah, oh, and you keep my okay. You, you you did the logo with Photoshop CS six. Interesting. Uh, yeah, try try to work in uh, Illustrator. Try to do the same in Illustrator. I think it would be. Interesting. Oh, now we have some uh, good work. Big is curve like house. Uh, this is more your style. I mean, this is getting closer a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good work on the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. What I would say, if I had just to add something, mm -hmm. I feel that you have two styles. Mm -hmm. Like the lighthouse and the rocks, you know, mm -hmm. very angular, and then the clouds and mm -hmm. the sea, which is more wavy. Um, that's maybe something you could work on, you know, to make it more your style and try to defend one. Mm. Hi, Eric. Welcome to the chat. 
then Yasser, yeah, I mean the Bedo, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, sir, if you are French, we know what you mean. <laughs> if you are not, sorry for that. Uh, and, uh, okay, some fire. Good work. What did you use in that, sir? A mix of, uh, yeah. I like the texture, actually, you put here. Here it's a little bit messy, be careful. But here mm -hmm. there is something very good here with the gradients. Very nice work. And maybe try... I would remove the flame, you know, just to see how this logo uh, lives in, uh, in a clean environment. But yeah, there is some good work with the gradients. And Samantha, good start. Oh, different regions of the brand, interesting. So you, you see how Marilar works. She starts with black and white and shades of gray and then works on the colors. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting for you to, to try to follow her. Our work with the color scheme and coffee candy yeah very nice space candy i like the idea of the of the ring outside the the plastic paper it's very smart and recharge your first low poly okay yeah. low poly it's cute Again, a little bit messy here. And, uh, low poly, you're trying to be very clean uh, here. Be careful, I know what's happening with the shadow here, but the, there's something weird here. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the two colors are mixing, so it feels like it's the same shape. Be careful. <clears throat> but I like the mood, like the universe, China. Yeah, very good inspiration. Big Nash, yeah, very good work. Simple, super efficient. Very, very good. And there is a message, yeah. Love it. And Mike Ellis. Oh, to remind you some stuff. Wow. <laughs> Did with Photoshop. Good job. It's more, it's closer to uh, that's on my, I mean, this Ellis. kind of universe. Yeah. You should check the work of uh, Vincent Mahé on Behance. He's also a very popular uh, illustrator in Paris. But yeah, in this kind of work. Exposed. But yeah, that's good. Very good crowd. As I was showing Twitter, what you share with Adobe Live. Let's kick back here. Okay, so we have a ship already. The moon is ready. Mm. So what, what are you working on now? Um, at the top? What do you want to do? Um, um, are some uh, strings or is it like uh, Lilian? Oh, yes, it's that. Lilian, oh, wow. What's the name? Plant, uh, uh. wow, plant <laughs> arms. You know, let's try to be poetic, like plant arms, plant strings. Tarzan. You know Tarzan? <laughs> He's using a rope, no. a plant rope, uh, organic rope. Yes, don't worry, we will go back to Twitter. <laughs> Come on. Vines. Vines. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. Vines. Oh, it's nice. Nice details. <laughs> She's it, never was, it was just to, it was just to <laughs> give an idea, but I, I need to to add to more details. Yeah, yeah, here first. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, so Hamzan has a question for you. Uh, how do you find your clients? Or uh, like, do you search? Like, do you yeah. call, or or yeah. do you just wait for them to to call you? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, I had to uh, to uh, to send my portfolio to many many 
clients you know, to every uh, I think I, I send my portfolio to every magazine French magazine oh, okay all the print magazines yeah yeah and uh, to many publishers and I uh, had uh, very few answers so it was very hard at the beginning wow. and it took and it took many years before I really start working full-time and uh, start working and uh, living by yeah uh, living from your art and, yeah and uh yeah and still today or today you know today <laughs> you, you have built your reputation yeah. so they, yeah. they, they directly contact you yeah and i guess you have some magazines they they just know that you are there that they can trust you and when yeah. they need you they just call you yeah, yeah. um but must be very uh, intense to work for uh magazines now usually the deadline are just uh, crazy no um it depends on on the kind of magazine sometimes i can have uh, three weeks to work okay. on a on a topic and uh, which sometimes is good I, for you yeah three so, weeks is uh, yeah. more than enough for you yeah and uh, sometimes it's uh, for uh, tomorrow or oh, two tomorrow. days yeah, yeah. sometimes well, two days well uh, but No, it's very interesting to work with it. I, I really like it. Yeah. yeah, it's very interesting. And also what you said is that it's uh, also very good to, like, uh, what's good with working for a print magazine is that uh, three or two or three weeks after, yeah. you have the result in your hand. So this is something yeah. you can share and you can get. And so it's uh, yeah, very yeah. valuable for you. Yeah, very yeah. gratifying. That's yeah. what I was looking for. Oh, and Rafa Aguirre tries to speak French. Very nice. Votre illustration, c'est très magnifique. Oh. Thank you, Rafa. <laughs> oh, Henry, you have to cook. Yeah. We respect that in France. Take your time. <laughs> Cooking is important. And in 20 minutes, we will give away, for you people in the chat, a Creative Cloud subscription. One year, the full Creative Cloud. Let me add some effect here. The full, the full Creative, Creative Cloud. Cloud. You cannot hear it, but I'm, me neither, but I'm sure it sounds very well. Okay. Because I have my effects. I need to add some effects for tomorrow. I was scared about... Uh, Les bon public, yes, Yannick. The only French song we we sing on the stream. So tomorrow she will be online uh, same time. Okay. Uh, so if you go on AdobeLive.com, there is a schedule tab on the right, and you will get the times in your time zone. This is why AdobeLive.com is so smart, because I can tell you she will be live tomorrow at 8 p.m. in Paris. But if you don't know the time zone, it won't help. It sounded super good. Ah, cool. I, I will have to watch the replay because I have no idea. And again, yeah, if you just take one or two hours, uh, my friends in the chat uh, during these uh, three days to create an illustration, we have a contest running on. So if you go on adobelive.com, you will see the contest tab, create a poster, just put the, the word create in the poster could be a quote, anything, and share it on Twitter. I, I, I saw that some of you already shared uh, some very good illustrations. Share it on Twitter, adding the Adobe Live hashtag. And on uh, Friday, I will pick uh, something from five to 10 winners, and you will get your illustration printed on art paper and also a one year credit card subscription. Oh, Mike Ellis, uh, thanks. It's a very good question. He's asking you, uh, especially with uh, all these deadlines that you have, you, know, you have to be fast. How do you avoid overworking the illustration? So when when do you know, okay, it's the right time to stop? Because you can go forever you know, with the details. Uh, <laughs> She doesn't know. Uh, uh, thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, uh, I don't know I have a 
Mm. I have a very, I think I have a very clear idea of what I want to do. Okay. And, um, and. Yeah, there is no room for exploration. I mean, you explore, of course, but you know where you want to go from the start. I think. I think it's uh, pretty clear for me. Okay, yeah. interesting. Uh, sometimes here, uh, especially, I don't find the very, I don't find my the good color. So it's not easy. It's a, uh, comment dit on tâtonne? Experiments, yeah, uh, experiments, step by step. Yeah, but uh, usually it's very flawless. Uh, yeah. just seamless. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And. And the last step uh, with Photoshop with the brush is very it's a, it's a very um, pleasant step. And uh, when I do mm. it, I know it's it's the last step. It's and very I, relaxing. Yeah, it's yeah a, really. like a treat for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just adding some taste to it. And uh, yeah, she will make it on Thursday. Okay, let's try mm. to to yeah. show it to our friends on Thursday how you use the brush in in Photoshop. It's amazing. <laughs> Mike says says good for you because I go in so many different directions. <laughs> yeah, so maybe uh, Mike, the, the the experience of uh, of uh, Marie Laure in this case, what she's telling you is that the more you prepare, also your illustration, because she does a lot of research. She works on the mood board, colors, and she has a sketch. Then she has something in mind. And it's true that I see a lot of designers just starting from a blank page. Yeah. And say, okay, yeah. I want a ship. Okay, that's right. Um, when she knows she, she has the colors in mind, she has the composition, she knows the typeface she will use. So that's why she knows maybe when to stop because she works a lot of uh, preparing the illustration. <clears throat> and the Krishna is in the, okay, how do you get the design ideas or direction to draw what you drew? Uh, so, uh, so Krishna, maybe you missed the, the beginning of the of the stream, but you can watch a replay later. It will be on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. But basically, she made a mood board, the first one, with all the covers that already exist, all the creative covers or covers about Peter Pan, and then she created another mood board just with illustrations to get the the colors. Um, yeah, just a Did mood you, board you, about colors. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe we can show it again just for. Uh, Krishna, because I guess Krishna uh, was not there at the beginning. The first one, uh, so that's the all the book covers. That's the first mood board. And that's the colors. Then I have a color range. Okay, Mike, so maybe, yeah, maybe you can try uh, this new process. I mean, who knows? Uh, Nuria Borsch is asking a very good question for you, Maria. Have you ever worked with motion designers to animate your illustrations? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes, uh, I am. Um, uh, the first time I worked with an animator. Animator, animator yeah. Uh, it was for my book, uh, for a book I published with uh, Galima. It was, uh, was it the first one with the... Uh, uh, it was, oh, it was at toute vitesse. Yeah, yeah if, for both. For the first oh, one, okay. it was uh, for Recreature and for at toute oh, vitesse. Okay. So, you know what? And I will show your website so they, they uh, will know what we're talking about. Sur le about. blog. On the blog? Je pense, ouais. Je suis pas sûr, ça va être peut-être un peu difficile. Si tu vas dans Edition. Edition. J'espère que... Alors là, il faut me descendre. Oh, you have smaller, uh, yeah, uh, GIF animations based on your illustrations. Yeah. Okay. And, and, uh, oh, here. Yeah. Here we go. So that's uh, something you have been working on with uh, an animator. Mm -hmm. So that's a book that exists uh, yeah. and uh, that you created from scratch. The book. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. your idea. You yeah. created yeah. everything. So it says uh, an outstanding uh, book of pictures with the turtle, very slow. And that's you. Well, that's me. <laughs> Horses. And it's all about the speed. So it's, oh, look at that, yeah. Motion blur. 
welcome to After Effects. Yep. Particles <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the submarine. It's underwater. So it's a book, yeah, all about speed. Maybe we can show some pages. Um, beautiful book where you have the speed here. So it's in kilometers per hour because we're in France, but miles per hour if you're in the US. Mm -hmm. It will show you the speed of each uh, item on the right, which is very good for um, uh, children also to understand, you know, uh, because the notion of speed is very hard to, to, to teach and to learn. Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. I see my son, I mean, always asking, what is the fattest, uh, fastest uh, <laughs> car on earth? And, uh, but what is the speed? Always, always. Beautiful. And then, so yeah, and you worked on another uh, book and it was one of your first projects. Maybe you can just show the book. Uh, and that's how you started. So what's the so name? The creature? Yeah. Yeah. Um, y a pas le, y a pas le... No, no, but that's okay. just to show the book. So it's uh, okay. not a pop-up book, but it's, uh, what's the name? It's a Melly Melo. So it's a mixed mixed up book where you can mix the head with the body and the legs to create different creators. And again, you, you created everything, right? Mm, yeah. And uh, so you told me that when you created this, it was just a project on your website, yeah. and then a book editor called you yeah. to say, "Okay, let's make a book." Yeah, and, and uh, they take uh, everything. And they kept they everything. Took, yeah, they didn't ask you to add stuff. We just changed the, the cover. Just a cover. Yeah. It's a great story. <laughs> so also, you know, this is something I I, uh, I share. Okay, let's go back to your screen mm -hmm. to all the designers, but. Uh, uh, Okay, when you start, if you have an idea also, and on your portfolio on Behance, really try to come back to combine uh, your professional projects. You know what you do in agencies or as a freelancer, and also your personal project, uh, especially if you want to give a new direction to your work. Uh, like Priska, he was on stage with us. Um, he started as a, a Flash developer, then uh, made some animations, design, and. Uh, after a trip in Japan, he became a huge fan of uh, calligraphy and um, lettering. So he just started sharing his lettering uh, skills on uh, Instagram, you know, one video per day. And um, and now he's uh, almost working exclusively for brands, uh, making lettering to create logos, you know, branded identities. Um, and um, so yeah, that's that's a good story. Uh, there is also another story like this that, which happened on Behance, very similar to yours. It was someone from the um, Philippines, from Malin, um, and he was drawing, you know, very complex uh, black and white pictures. And the book editor contacted him on Behance, saying, "Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. It could become a very good uh, coloring book." Yeah. And they 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 did the book together. And it was the bestseller in 2015 in the coloring book section. Okay. <laughs> Bestseller wow. on Amazon, boom. Wow. Um, just sharing what he was doing. So, because when uh, Marilo and I, we are very old. You know, I <laughs> when we start. <laughs> I'm not uh, as old no, not as that you. Not at all, okay. Not as old, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so when I started you know, in the industry, uh, it was really the uh, era of uh, everything would have to be, you, everything was a secret. Okay? So you wouldn't share what you were, what you, uh, what you were working on. You know, in the agency, you couldn't tell the name of the customer. Even if you worked for a customer, you couldn't tell your friends, couldn't tell your family. I mean, it was crazy, like FBI, you know? mm -mm -mm. Or CIA, and um, and now it's the opposite. You know, and that's why I'm very happy with this uh, book editor. You say, yeah, of course, share the process, share everything. Yeah. Um, because also the how she works and the, also her creative process is really part of her identity as a designer. Okay, that's Marie Laura. That's how she works. And uh, when you create, the more you create and share, uh, you will get more benefits, a lot of benefits. So I really invite you to share, share, share what you're doing. And <laughs> Suman, you only have five percent battery. Sorry, man. 
Uh, so the shortcut uh, Marilo is, is using is something I learned today. Okay, so as you can see, she selects a shape and then she cut the shape, so common X. She selects another shape and she does common B to paste it behind what she selects. It's very useful. Oh, and M production, you, you think you're better than Marilo? Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Prove it to the world. You know, you should enter the contest. So M production, if you want to show us your skills. Yeah. Yeah, enter the contest <laughs> on adobelive.com. There is a contest tab. Create a poster, share it on Twitter with the Adobe Live hashtag. All the rules are on Adobe Live. So you can show us how good you are. And uh, that would be awesome if you could participate. And maybe you will win a one-year Creative Cloud subscription. If you are already a Creative Cloud member, it will extend your subscription. It will add 12 more months. So it's cool. Ivan from Australia. Australia? Ivan, what time is it in Australia? You should be sleeping. Seriously, what time is it? Oh, maybe it's the morning in Australia. Maybe. Let me check. Time in Australia. Which doesn't mean anything, because I'm sure they have... To... Oh, it's the morning. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, have a nice breakfast. <laughs> uh, Suman is asking, have you customized your Illustrator shortcuts or do you use the classic ones, the default shortcuts? Uh, I, uh, I I don't think I customize on Illustrator, but on Photoshop, yes, I do. On Photoshop, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, Ryan Ford, that's the, the goal of it. You, you copy paste something behind. William, in the house. William is in the house. So, in uh, about 20 minutes, Will Patterson will be in the house uh, doing some live lettering and illustrations and everything. Uh, he will share with us a very unique uh, lettering process because he does lettering on paper, but first he will show us how he does lettering on iPad Pro using Photoshop Sketch and another app uh, and then finishing the work in Photoshop, I think. But I think I think we're first we can challenge William a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Because he will use another app, but maybe he can do everything in Photoshop Sketch. We will see. We will let him play today, but then tomorrow we will challenge William. I hope you are listening, William. Will Patterson, yeah, he will be live with us. And in two minutes, we will give away a Creative Cloud subscription to someone in the chat. I need to find a secret keyword. Hmm. The first word was really hard, but you found it. Hmm. have an idea. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's do this now. Be nice with Nightbot because we will do the giveaway now, credit card subscription. To get more chances to win, make sure that you subscribe, you already subscribed to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. There is a subscribe button at the bottom of the UI. Okay, below the video player, subscribe. To give you five times more chances to win Creative Cloud. So, you need to type in the chat um, something about the character she's drawing because she, she's drawing the, the book cover of uh, Peter Pan and um, Wendy. You need to type in the chat the last name of Wendy in the book Peter Pan. Do you know uh, her last name? No. <laughs> <laughs> they will find it. So you need to type the last name of Wendy 
Oh, I have it. Okay. I have another good question, but <laughs> I'll use it tomorrow. <laughs> no, her last name is not Peter Pan. Oh, 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 getting there. I saw some good answers, yes. Darling, yeah, that's it. It's cute. Her name is Wendy Darling. It's nice. Je ne savais pas. Yeah. I didn't know. I had to Google it, to be honest. <laughs> but um, good job. You know how to use Google. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we learn, you know? We learned something today. Wendy Darling. Someone says, Wendy, Moria, Angela, Darling. No, that's <laughs> darling is fine. Okay, I give you 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, so what's happening here? Uh, is it like a knife and a feather? Yeah. Uh, it's, so nothing, it... it's nothing imp important for the moment, but I, I need to add a, uh, to add that kind of color, the, the, the pink, into the oh, illustration. Okay. I, I don't know how for the moment, because I, I'm mm. working on the landscape and I don't have really... I don't have yeah. many things to... To, to, to bring uh, some to uh, add, warm yeah, colors. Yeah, hmm. but I know that I have to put this into the into the illustration so i just put the color and i and i will find later uh, something to do with it okay so the winner is and you have to contact rufus dusher rufus in the chat on twitter rufus d on twitter okay avente romero avente romero one word Avente Romero, congratulations. You won a one-year credit card subscription. If you're already a member, it will add you 12 months. And Nightbot, put it in the chat. Thank you, Nightbot. Avente Romero, congratulations. Auguri. Wendy Darling, yeah. You can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Gashole is asking, how do you make, uh, how do you plan to make lights inside the ship? Uh, if you plan to make lights. Yes, I am planning. You, you, okay, yeah, you will yeah. see that tomorrow. To, yeah. Be back mm -hmm. on a little bit live, same time. Use the sound effects. Ah, you like it. Okay. I will use the sound effects. <laughs> and the winner is Avente Romero. No, you got it. Okay, let me know if it sounds good because I can't, I don't have any feedback. Avente Romero. Okay, he says this is awesome. Thank you guys. Okay, make sure to contact Rufus in the chat. The Twitter. He shared his Twitter. Yes. Uh, Christine, you want to know <laughs> what should we do to have a chance to win CC? So it was quite obvious. You had to type darling in the chat. But stay with us, because we will give away one more credit card subscription with our next, next guest, which is Will Patterson. He will be live with us here from Paris in less than, in about 15 minutes. Okay, so stay with us. There will be another chance to win Credit Cloud. The other way is to enter the contest, and the rules are on adwilive.com. Basically, you have to open Illustrator or Photoshop, you make a poster and you include the word create and you share it on Twitter with the Adobe Live hashtag. <laughs> Sounds cool? Okay, very dramatic. Okay, nice. What software? So Marilor is using Adobe Illustrator CC. And for the voice, I was using Adobe Audition CC. Can you please paste the link of her portfolio? Sure. Let yep, me... I got it. Yeah, Rufus. Rufus will post the link, yeah. Mm. <laughs> they still say, darling, darling. You can stop. So. <laughs> but I have a very good question for tomorrow oh, that I can only use during your stream. Debt limit for the contest. I, I will uh, 
uh, announce the winners on Twitter on Friday morning. So you have to submit your work on Twitter before Friday morning, my time, Paris time. So that's it, Sebastian. Right end yeah, end of Thursday to be safe. Christine, you posted your illustration. Good. Yeah, I will make sure to look at it. Don't worry. So how are you doing on the ship? Yeah, adding some... Uh, uh, je... Les voiles. Voiles, uh, what's uh, the name? I would say... Uh, sails? Mm -hmm. Et, uh, les cordages. Sails, yeah, and ropes. Et, uh, oh yeah. En anglais, que c'est en ajoutant ces détails là que yeah. là ça commence à, à prendre un peu plus de corps. Ça reste très abstrait. Je crois que je disais que c'était très abstract so far, but now adding some details, uh, such as more cells and ropes. You feel uh, you can still feeling uh, now the, feel the, the, the body, volume, yeah, the uh, volume, the, yeah. the depth. What's happening in the illustration? Yeah, cool. Felipe, you're back. Cool. Welcome back. Yeah, she's using also, she has a Behance account. Uh, also, I will put the link in the chat, which is very popular. I mean, you will see. So make sure to follow also uh, Marilor Crushy, Crushy Form on Behance and give her some love, okay? Some appreciations. <laughs> Always good. And Rufus is having a coffee yeah. at 10 p.m. He lives in Italy, he can. Uh, texture, yeah, she will add some texture on Thursday uh, because this is the final stage. On uh, Thursday, she will actually uh, open the illustration in Photoshop and then she will relax and use a Photoshop brush and add some texture. If you check her portfolio on Behance, I just posted a link, you will see that in her work, like the final illustration, like his, uh, the final touch, the crochet from style, is adding some textures. Ah, uh, you have new followers on Behance. <laughs> I can tell. Are we still reviewing tweets? Uh, we will review more tweets maybe next time or tomorrow. Uh, don't worry, uh, Jim Paolo. But yeah, make sure to be back tomorrow. We will review, review more tweets. Because in about uh, yeah, six minutes, we have to say goodbye <laughs> and welcome uh, Will Partisan. And if you don't know Will, you'll see he's like a famous YouTuber. A young YouTube star sharing tutorials and lettering, graphic design. He shares a lot also, and that's that's how I discovered uh, him actually. And then Rufus told me, "Yeah, I know the guy. I met him already." So, <laughs> what's the clock in Paris now? It's almost 10 p.m. Oh, Will is in the house. <laughs> Uh, Michael, do you have a Behance or Instagram or something? Yeah, I have both. Uh, maybe I can share my Behance with you. I don't even know what this is. Is it MShares? Yeah. So this is my Behance and uh, must be the same for Instagram, like MShares. Regina Shet, yeah. We will have a very strong opinion about your work. Thanks for sharing. Uh, so, Marija, uh, some tips on making texture brushes for Photoshop. We will cover that on Thursday. Uh, do you use photos or scanning to create brushes, or do you use, do you use the default brush in Photoshop? Um, or do you have <coughs> like a, Did you buy some brushes? Uh, I. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to fatigue. She's working so hard. <laughs> so, now we are like having fun. And she's like, oh. 
<laughs> I, need to, I need to finish this illustration. <laughs> Uh, J'en ai custom, uh, custom, custom yes. brushes yeah. Yeah, that you yeah. created uh, yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but maybe you can show. Do you have them on this computer? Maybe no, not. not now. So, not now. okay. The, but maybe on Thursday. Or, yeah. Oh yeah, you. Yeah. I forgot that you live in Paris, so <laughs> you can go back home, <laughs> take the brushes. <laughs> so she will show the brushes. In but look at the world, guys, on the on the ship. Uh, just uh, playing with the colors of the cells. You can already feel, uh, yeah, the volume of the mm. shirts. And just with simple colors, like there is no texture yet, but we, we can already feel something. Yeah. Um, and Rufus, yeah, if you look for Rufus Dushler, you will also find his uh, Behance account. Just search for Rufus Dushler. He's everywhere. He's on Twitter, Instagram, Behance, YouTube, Facebook. It's everywhere. He's the Matrix. That moon is awesome. Yeah, I really like the moon too. Uh, oh, okay. Can I see the ship? Because we have an engineer in the chat. Can you zoom out? I need to see something. Can you zoom out so uh, I can pardon. see the... Uh, oh. the... No, we have very good engineer in the chat. But I have to answer it. Because the engineer says, what's your friend? What's your name, my friend? Kuroi Raven. He must be an engineer. Because he says, when I look at the sails and the direction of the wind, then the flag should to the other side <laughs> so let me answer this one not necessarily, not necessarily. if you do some sailing mm -hmm. it's not necessarily maybe you go against the wind and you will still get the same shape with different orientation I am but and maybe he's uh, moving very fast you don't know maybe it's moving very fast so not necessarily practice your sailing by a boat <laughs> uh, it was a good point and you know sometimes for the illustration and the sake of the energy you don't care about physics <laughs> no, seriously like wind sand shadows just make it look good <laughs> you want the black skull on that flag uh, uh, yeah is it a pirate ship yeah in Pirapa? yeah okay. Maybe maybe you will get it, guess what? Yeah. We will see. Yeah. Maybe. Um, it's going very yeah. Very fast into the rocks. Yeah, because it's a very so it's a very small uh, short version of Peter Pan. Where he just he arrives and then the ship you know just crashes and uh, Captain Hook is killed and that's it. <laughs> it's a very short <laughs> version. One page. For kids. One page. <laughs> One cover. You flip the cover, one page. Okay, one minute okay. left. Uh, Ta -da! Well, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, but yeah, you're getting there, huh? Yeah. You know? Okay, maybe you can show where. What was the first sketch? Do you still have it? Um, like before and after. The, just the yeah, just black the, and white. The lines. Just, yeah, the black yeah. and white. Um, yeah, that's before. So it was like uh, less than two hours ago. Uh, uh, and, uh, 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 and here, here we are today. So that's the first step. So tomorrow, tomorrow you will work more on the illustration, I guess, mm -hmm. more details, mm -hmm. play with the colors maybe more. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday, textures in Photoshop, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's the plan. Well, please say thank you in the chat to Marilor. It was great watching you uh, creating this mm -hmm. and uh, Good luck because, and she works during the day. You know, yeah. It's 8 p.m., but uh, <laughs> she's not on vacation. Like She works all day long, and then she joins us for the live stream to work more. I mean, very intense. And she has a family. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Okay, so see you tomorrow with Marilor. Same time? Hmm? Tomorrow? You do the same? You text me? Okay, I arrive. Okay, okay. okay that's okay. cool. 
and uh, we will be uh, back in five minutes with Will Patterson and Rufus. Okay, so stay with us. Bye, everyone.